Hi, my name is Angel Rivero and kasama ko ngayon si Dr. Christina Koa Malaya. Magandang araw po. Magandang araw, Angel. Ngayon, Thank Dr. you. Dr. Christina, hmm. sabi po sa sabi po sa Biblia, go forth and multiply. Oh my. Pero <laughs> ang nangyayari, kadalasan ay yung mga hindi naman nagbabalak magbuntis ay nabubuntis at yung mga nagpa-plan minsan hindi nagwo-work out. Yes. So, ano po usually yung mga reasons kung bakit yung mga couples na gustong magbuntis ay parang hindi nagiging successful? Ah, okay. That's a very uh, common question mm -hmm. because, of course, as you well know, Angel, uh, reproductive endocrinologist and infertility uh, specialty doctor ako. So, most yes. of my patients, a, a great majority would be, be, aside also from the OBGYN part, mm -hmm. yan yung araw-araw na pasyenteng nakikita namin. So, there are several reasons and mainly we we divide them into female factors and male factors. Okay. okay? So, when we say female factor, mainly the problems occur in the woman. Okay. So, the most common is ovulation. Nung okay. pag tinatanong ka, di ba, regularly menstruating ka ba? Mm -hmm. no? So, usually a woman will have a 28 to 32 day cycle. Yes. So, kapag ka matagal yung cycle mo, for example, you have more than 35 to 40 days, mm -hmm. then clue na yan. There's a problem with your ovulation or in layman's term, yung pangingitlog mo. So, when you have, yung di ba, yung pangingitlog. So, pag yung manok nga nangingitlog, di ba, to have a baby. So, lalo na yung Tama. mother, no? So, you really have to have a normal menstrual cycle. Mm -hmm. And that's the most common. Usually, when women have uh, weight problems, whether you're overweight or whether you're underweight, mm -hmm. you can have, or maybe you're just stressed for that for several Even months, stress. no? Even stress, no? So, it can affect your menstrual cycle. Mm -hmm. And mm, having said that, it also affects your ability or your capability to conceive because may problema ka sa ovulation. Kapag okay. nagme-menstruate po bang isang babae ay sigurado pong nag-ovulate siya? Ah, no. Not the, what, there's a thing called unovulatory bleeding or ovulatory bleeding. So, ibig sabihin ng unovulatory, you menstruate or you bleed pero walang itlog. Ay, walang, hindi ka nag- hindi ka nag- nag-ovulate. Nag uh -oh. So, there, merong distinction yon. So, mm -hmm. there are some tests to perform or to check ultrasound mm -hmm. to check kung nag-ovulate yung isang babae. Pero wala naman po siyang symptoms na parang Oh, uh, umikse ang aking period, ibig sabihin, uh, yan. hindi pagka, na Pagka nga mga ganun, medyo erratic ang cycle, then pwede na may problema siya with uh, ovulation. I see. And then to continue, bukod sa ovulation, there are things that can um, a woman can have like diseases like myoma or fibroids mm -hmm. or polyps or endometriosis or ov ovarian cysts. Mm -hmm. Yun yung mga problema that can hamper a woman to have a normal, you know, uh, fertility potential. And then what else? Cervical mucus, pwedeng yun din, pwedeng may infection sa cervix, kaya so, hindi ma-accept, ma oo, ma hindi ma-accept yung sperm to go inside. Oh, wow. And then now we go to the male. So, of course, yung male, alam mo naman yun, sperm analysis, <laughs> che-check natin. No? So, there are three, three major things that we check. The count, okay. the motility, and then the morphology. Ibig sabihin, yung count dapat normal, yung sperm, yung dami. Mas Kas madami, yes. mas masaya. Kasi yung isang, isang egg, isa lang, pero siyempre, females ang... <laughs> ang mas ano ang males pala ang weaker sex kaya kailangan madami compared to one to one precious okay. egg so he has to have at least 15 to 20 million sperms million yes sperms. million for one wow. egg kaya talagang Ooh. Weaker sex sila. <laughs> Joke mo. Tapos, okay. yung uh, morphology, it has to be the perfect head and the perfect tail. No? And oh, then, okay. the motility. Dapat fast swimmers sila. Fast yeah. swimmers. Yes, yes. Totoo po ba yung sinasabi nilang kapag uminom sila ng kape, ay magiging fast swimmers? Ah, no. Nila. Contrary to that, pag sobrang dami yung caffeine, mm -hmm. hindi rin maganda yun. <laughs> Yes. Okay. So, so may okay. mga misconception. Caffeine kasi cannot only be from coffee, but it can also be from your regular Coke, de ba? Right. Or your tea. Mm -hmm. So, pwedeng pag napakarami naman ng caffeine na ininom mo, mm -hmm. pwedeng ma-affect din yung sperm motility and even the egg quality. 
So, yun. So, isa-isa yun sa mga... I see. Yun yung mga hadlang. Mm-hmm. Oo, Now, yes. having said that, ano po, Doc, yung mga pwede nilang gawin mm-hmm. to increase their chances of being fertile? Yeah. So, this, these things, yung mga very um, practical tips, syempre, yung alam naman natin yan, smoking, drinking, and alcohol. Ay, huwag na yan. Uh, so, sorry, smoking, drinking, alcohol, and Uh, drugs, okay. recreational drugs. So, these are already established things mm-hmm. na nakaka-affect talaga sa fertility for be- both men and women. So, you have to limit and to, you know, avoid from mm-hmm. this taking these things. And you have to have a healthy, uh, balanced diet. You should diet have, yes, of course, your, you should have a uh, lean protein, you, have sh- you should have a uh, good source of vitamins. Mm-hmm. Kasi lahat ng marketing ngayon, if you would see na yung mga medicines for mga supplements, mm-hmm. they're all basically vitamins and minerals. Mm-hmm. Yung mga anti-oxidative uh, agents, mm-hmm. lahat yan vitamins and minerals lang. So, so you help. can, yeah, mm-hmm. you can just get it from a healthy, balanced diet. Okay. So, you know, having a good lifestyle and then mm-hmm. having the right exercise, maintaining a good BMI or yung weight mo, mm-hmm. depende sa weight and height mo yon. Average mga dapat, mga 20 to 25 yung BMI mo. So, ask your doctor about <laughs> if you're having the right BMI. So, it doesn't necessarily mean na, ay, ang taba-taba ako, dapat akong mag, mm-hmm. magpapayat. There, there is a maintaining BMI for that I based see. on your height and weight. What about folic acid, doctor? Oh, yeah. Help? Yeah, of course. It doesn't only help because we always teach our, our residents, you know, folic acid, you should take it to, to prevent neural tubal defects or yung mga uh, defects, congenital anomalies for babies. Not only that, folic acid is known to um, increase uh, female fertility. So, it's really recommended oh, to take folic okay. acid. That's mm-hmm. good news. Mm-hmm. Ngayon po daw, kunyari, no, um, you have stayed away from alcohol, from drinking, from drugs. Um, And it's still not working. Yes. And then they have to go see a doctor yes. like yourself. So what po are their options from there? Yes. Um, there's one thing that's important. If you have had, if you had had sexual relations for so long already, and then of course you're more than 35, mm. hindi na pwede yung mga sinabi ko. Kasi mm. yung mga sinabi ko, mga benign lang yon. dapat ginagawa mo na when you're young. Mm. So of course, you have to seek help already with an infertility specialist. When you say so, po for so long, how long is that? Of course, if you're 35 and you've been married for for one year and then you're tr- you're already trying long you're not getting yon. pregnant okay. yeah that's long already okay. and then of course there are women na young naman 16 mm-hmm. you got married at 16 but 10 years na kayong magkasama <laughs> na asawa mo so definitely <laughs> definitely there's a problem with that so don't wait too long you, s- mm-hmm. you go seek a doctor's opinion I na. See. so what do we do we, we get a trans we have a transvaginal ultrasound mm-hmm. we do pap smears we do the sperm analysis mm-hmm. We do tests kung talagang normal ka ba or ovulation problem lang, which is very easy. So you take drugs na to induce ovulation. I see. And then you check your tubes if there's no problem. Mm-hmm. And yun. Basically, yun lang. Hindi naman kailangan agad na complicated. At saka, sikat dyan, Doc, yung IVF. Yes, okay. So, IVF is only a part. Uh, kumbaga, under siya ng general term, which is assisted reproductive technique. Mm-hmm. When we say that, pwede naman sila munang mag-IUI, yung intrauterine insemination. Okay, when we say that, yung sperms ng husband, okay. inilalapit sa egg. Okay, kasi ang laki ng path nun, yung layo so, ng path nun. So, mechanically, may uh, oh, maglalagay. Meron, ilalagay natin yung wow. sperm. Parang sa baboy, o parang sa cow, <laughs> gano'n. No? Oh so, gano'n. May IUI din sa tao. Okay. okay. So, the, you, you literally put the sperms to the nearby, so dun sa loob ng uterus ng woman. Hindi po masakit yun? Ah, hindi. Office procedure, mas masakit pa ang pap smear dun, darling. Oh. Kaya, pwedeng-pwede na IUI. Pwede. No? So, pwede, yun. So, pwede. For example, people with endometriosis, mm-hmm. people who have unexplained infertility, meaning, nagawa na nila yung usual steps, and yet, they're not getting pregnant. Mm-hmm. And of course, if you have male factor problems, meaning, sobrang konti ang sperm count, mm-hmm. or yung motility problem. So, you can go ahead with IUI. Kasi takot ang allergic ang pasyente pag mahal eh. Yun na yung IVF. Okay, yung IVF, 
unfortunately, yun na yung pinakamahal, yun na yung pinaka-optimum treatment because we control a lot of things. Okay. So, kaya siya mahal because you control the things that you cannot control in a natural uh, cycle. Mm -hmm. So, yun, kinokontrol na sa lab, kaya IVF. Is it a long process? Actually, hindi na. Mm -hmm. Because before, we have improved from long protocols, which takes about one and a half months before. Now, we have, uh, from the start of your menses, in two weeks, we finish the whole process. And then, voila, if you are really, uh, you know, very lucky, you get pregnant, you'll know the results within a month. No, I mean, uh, two weeks after the procedure of IVF. Mm -hmm. So, it's very friendly nowadays. Even the medicines, even the medicines are so friendly, you can you can inject yourself at wow. home. So, they're, they're parang customer friendly mm -hmm. na. Is it fair mm -hmm. to say, Doc, na kapag hindi pa rin nag-work sa inyo ang IVF, parang mm -hmm. lumalabo na talaga yung chances? Ah, uh, no. I will tell you, honestly, there are patients of mine, even after an IVF failure, they get pregnant spontaneously. I have Ooh, had two wow. na ganon. Not naman because I gave them the wrong you know, yeah, the wrong like uh, recommendation. Mm -hmm. Because mind you, they're for in their 40s. And then they tried, because they tried IVF, and then you still continue to become supportive. Mm -hmm. You still give them positive, uh, mm -hmm. you know, give them hope. Because it's the, that's the best thing, I think, in any fertility treatment. You have to have, you have to give them hope. But of course naman, you, you also tell them na what their chances are, mm -hmm. yung realistic chance. Okay. So you tell them, you try to have spontaneous uh, conception, you try naturally, mm -hmm. and then wala, bigla na lang nabuntis siya. <laughs> diba? <laughs> Kung kailan, pa rin. Oo, kahit, basta wala, basta nandiyan yung fallopian tubes, nangingitlog pa siya, may pag-asa pa rin. No, oh. Talking about pangingitlog, Doc, mm -hmm. kapag, Pangingitlog, yung itlog po ba ay itlog ng babae or itlog ng lalaki? Okay, oo nga, no, kanina pa ako nangingitlog. <laughs> Ang itlog sa babae, okay? Pag sinabi po nating similya, yun yun sa lalaki. Okay? okay, gamits ang general term pero sperm and egg. So, itlog sa, sa girl when I say itlog. Ayos. Okay, yung itlog, oo, ibang itlog yun. Yung dalawang itlog sa baba, iba yun. Oo. <laughs> sa boys yun. Oo. Pero sa, sa gamits po, sperm yun sa lalaki. Then, sa babae yung egg. I see. Marami pong salamat. Welcome. <laughs> Oo, thank you.